Hi YouTube and Pex Universe family. You're probably wondering what's going on in front of me. I've got a thermometer, a small fish tank, corn oil, and a bucket of hot water. What is that for? Well, today I'm gonna explain to you how a grease trap works. Let's get started. It is often required that a grease trap be installed anywhere where food preparation is taking place. You'll most likely see these in a restaurant or the kitchen of a cafe or bar. Slowly but surely, the grease will build up on itself and grow, forming into a solid and blocking out the entire pipe. In the context of working in a commercial atmosphere, such as a kitchen that cooks a handful of meals a day, you might want an on-site grease trap. What is it and how does it work? When the water is slowed down, it cools and allows the grease to separate from the water. The cooled water is then able to exit while the grease is captured on the top section. The size of the grease trap depends upon on the amount of waste that is being produced in a given facility based on the dimensions of the waste sink itself. An example in a commercial environment might be sized according to the rate of the incoming flow in gallons per minute. In other words, the GPM associated with this incoming flow rate is the trap's capacity. One of the most asked questions when looking for a grease trap is, what size am I going to choose? How do I size it? I'm gonna show you how to manually do that yourself. Just divide the total area of your sink and sinks that will feed into your grease trap by 231 and then multiply by 0.75 inches. In this case, 12 by 12 by eight equals 1,152 cubic inches. 1,152 divided by 231 times 0.75 equals 3.74. This will then be added up to the next available grease trap size. In this case, which would be a four gallons per minute tank, this tank right here. And that is how you determine the size of your tank. Sizing and capacities are widely accepted by most plumbers and outside agencies. Always check with your local authority and plumber before making the installation. One of the next steps you'll need to consider is hub couplings, which is on either end. What sizing you'll need and what fitting attachments you will need. To connect to the system, the coupling that you'll need is based on the size of your inlet and outlet in the grease trap itself. In this case, your grease trap is roughly two inches. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment in the section down below. And if you like what you saw, like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.